you're watching Muggle Mama, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hey y'all and welcome back to another Challenge Rift. This is Challenge Rift 181. We are using a witch doctor here. This week we have 6 minutes and 17 seconds to complete it. So let's see what we're dealing with. Zunimasa. So the big thing with this one is going to be our fetish army. We want to have as many pets up as we can because we will take less damage for every pet we have up. Uh, the cooldowns reduced, increased damage when we have our enemies or our pets out. So that's good news. We have the six piece set. Cube's looking pretty good with the zombie dogs and the damage reduction. We've got the Mask of Jeremin here for the increased pet damage. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we've got Sages on too. My bad. I was looking at this. We have a Rorg, but we have Sages on too. So double the death's breath. So this is this looks like it's a uh, key farming build would be my guess. And they ran it through GR. So, again, I'm not a big uh, Witch Doctor player. So, let's see how this goes. We're going to move our Spirit Walk to three because that's what I like. Uh, we want our Fetish Army is going to be good there. We want to make sure those are up. That's an easy spot for me to click. All right. I'm going to move this stuff around just a little bit there. I think this should be pretty good. We're going to make sure this is up. We're going to make sure our zombie dogs are up because they're going to be doing a reduced damage. So let's go see how this goes. Zombie dogs are up. British army is up. Use the piranhas here to group things. This is a GR45. Looks like so far most of the pets are doing the damage for us. Got some blues here on the stairs. Woo! Then my big blues. All right. Spirit walking. We're going to see if we have some elites up here. No elites. Oh, there's one, two. There are two down in the circle. I had wasted all my uh, buttons though, so I didn't have any resources to try and gather this. We're on cooldown. There we go. <clears throat> Spirit walk back up here. Make sure we didn't miss anything around the circle. Oops. Furnace will kill you. <laughs> all right, we're gonna spirit walk immediately. Get our zombie dogs back up, our, our fetish armies back up. We're gonna spear walk through here. Here we got a conduit. That should help us out. Just about everything should start melting. That at least allowed us to catch up on time. Hopefully this next floor is much better. Got some blues. Oh, and a speed. Like that. Oh, there were two packs here. There was a blue and a yellow. I hit that speed and the pets killed them all. So that's going to be big. Right. 
Beating through this floor. I forgot to show you floor one, y'all. I will go back at the end of that to show you the map. I've been bad about that. My goodness. So basically when I see an elite, what I'm doing here, if I can, I'm using the piranhas. The pets will direct toward that group that has been gathered. There's another set of blues here. And then I'm using haunt for some additional damage. Spirit walking through the trash. Once you gather it though with the piranhas, it pretty much dies. Pets are definitely doing their job on this build. There's another yellow. Don't stand in explosions. I definitely have a um, force standstill set on my keyboard. I have it on space just because that's more convenient for my little hands. I would highly recommend having something set so you don't accidentally move and end up in an explosion of any sort. Oh, let's look at floor two before we get too far here. Floor two, I went around here. So it's not going to slow you down if you do explore all the nooks and crannies in that floor. Oh, man, we're dead again. Let's get our zombie dogs up here. Get our piranhas going. Now we've got our fetish up. That was under cooldown, so... There we go. Yep, the, uh, the piranhas definitely help a lot on this build. Uh, so definitely make sure you keep that, you try to keep that for elites. Um, this looks like an okay floor, just exploring a little bit for you if you have to go further than what I do. Doesn't look too bad. I don't see any pylons. But that doesn't mean if you don't get deep into the floor, you uh, might find another one. All right, I did go back and run floor one again for you since I forgot to show you the map in between floors one and two. And I did go and discover this section, um, uncover the section that I didn't originally look at. And there were two more blue packs down there. So this is a nice big floor. Uh, we had some elites in here. We had two elites down here. We hit the conduit. If you go this way, you'll hit two elites in this section along with the two elites over here near the speed. So this floor can get you substantial progress by all means. Um, I wasn't even trying to kill things when I ran back through to uncover the map and I still ended up pulling ahead when I was um, exploring it just because the conduit did so much damage when I went down in this section. So I highly recommend grabbing that conduit and hanging down in this little area and then coming back up. I always hate backtracking because I feel like it's a waste of time, but you get enough progress on there that it's it's worth doing for sure. So there's your map one. You had your map two, map three. You shouldn't need it a whole lot, if at all, especially depending on how your progress goes on that flat on that first floor. So good luck with that. Let me know if you have any questions. We will see you guys next week.